I have explored. Number one, first of all, the Western mission actually, they need to accept fundamental mistakes. What they have, where they have been wrong and what they missed during the heyday of the world mission, which was totally cognitive uh, and uh, alienation from the local culture. So uh, we need to develop also contextual theology in Pakistan Indian context, three cell formula failed. So this is one of my another findings that the three self is still not applicable in that context. And then the recommendation are the future of global nation is doxological and diasporic. How can Western church is ready to engage with the diaspora with a doxological way and using digital media forms which we can engage with the, uh, with the not only the diaspora but also in the local area. So unity, the end of lesson is we need collaboration, we need unity, and we need mutual supplementary if we have what we are doing here today, listening and learning from each other. This is another uh, approach. And uh, the last point is that uh, this is not a time now for us to engage in an oral culture with the literary resources. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of the fundamental uh, flaw mission that we were engaging in a 70 to 80 percent oral culture with literature, with people even can't read and write. So what are the new oral, which are non-cognitive, non-literary, and non-polemical, non-confrontational approaches to engage in the mission? So my work, which I'm writing, I'm reviewing the 170 years history of the Presbyterian mission in North India and Pakistan, first time coming from a local perspective, with recommendation and suggestion from based on my 20 years of as a musician, musicologist, and a minister in the Presbyterian church. How can we engage not only with the Muslim, but the Sikhs, Punjabi speaking Sikhs and Hindus. Because one thing is common in my research, what I have found, all these books are book based. All these religions are book based. And the most important thing, these books are not for the written, these books are for chant and singing. Are we using orality, creativity, singing, and music to engage in God's mission in toxological way and diasporic way? Thank you very much. Thank you so much for